It's a real privilege to have received this award from Patchwork. Look, I stood in an unwinnable seat in 2015, so when I was selected to stand in 2017, I was told by many there was no chance that we could win Kemp Town from the Conservatives. So when I did, I wanted to make sure we didn't miss a heartbeat. I was elected as chair of the all-party group for youth affairs with YMCA and the British Youth Council and working with a new collaboration with the National Youth Agency where I had previously worked myself, we conducted an inquiry into the role and sufficiency of youth work. We travelled the country taking evidence and visiting youth centres. Look, I am incredibly proud of the end product but even more so that the government issued an official response to the report and in government time they held a full debate in the chamber of the House of Commons. And every single of the main political parties at the last election included our key recommendations in their manifestos. I started my working life in the youth sector and it has been incredibly rewarding to be able to represent that sector and young people in Parliament to achieve the outcomes for them. Look, I'm also proud of my role in tackling HIV stigma by being the first MP to announce their HIV status in the chamber. I was overwhelmed by the support that colleagues gave me when I came out as HIV positive and I have received so many touching statements from people all around the world about the impact that my speech had on them personally and on the communities that are affected. I didn't just want to make the speech about myself I wanted to ensure that public health was getting the funded it needed when there were real cuts on the horizon and that we were pushing to roll out PrEP, the pill that can prevent HIV. And the government has now, following those announcements and that work with organisations like the Tenants Against Trust, agreed to do so. Internationally, it was a privilege to serve on the International Development Committee I had previously advised the UN on development and youth work and so in using that background I was able to hold the government to account on issues like their response to the Burma refugee crisis and government spending outside DFID of which I was the official rapporteur for the committee on. I led much of our work on arms control under covering a multi-million pound arms deal which despite government rejections were still shipped and led to a project uh, getting citizens engaged with our arms sales. Committees are the hidden work of Parliament, but in building those relationships cross-party, we can change government approach. I was chair of the all-party group for Northern Syria and the Kurds, twice leading a delegation there, the only delegations to have attended Syria since the start of the civil war, creating strong links with our Kurdish allies. And when the US withdrew, I was able to organise private briefings with senior Labour, SNP, Liberal and Conservative members, with the commanders of our allies to ensure that we were not abandoning them at their time of need. Members of Parliament can't do all these things on their own. So I'd like to spare a special thank you to my staff and all of the stakeholders that I meet regularly. And of course, the people that I represent in Brighton, Kemp Town and Peacehaven. Now I've won the Best Newcomer MP Award, I better set my sights on being the best MP for all of Kemp Town and hopefully the best MP in Parliament. Thank you for the award again and thank you uh, to all the people that were nominated and participated.